come to think of it, was there not another task we were to see to somewhere nearby? Efficiency is not the only factor worthy of consideration. Just yonder looks to be a good spot for harvesting ingredients. No harm in picking a few. Come to think of it, we might already have what we seek stored away. Mayhap this ladder is here for a reason. Ah, oh, excellent find. I overheard some of the soldiers standing guard outside the palace discussing a curious rumor. Regarding the Queen Regent and an important personage, you mean? Indeed. Some suppose there is more to her relationship with this Batali dignitary than is publicly known. lightning on your side. Use me as your foothold to soar to greater heights. I shall gladly aid you if it is within my power. Pray, keep your voice low. An unsettled mind begets an unsettled work. We ought to keep watch, lest we be set upon from behind. Figured I had to thank you somehow. Oh, it's not right. It doesn't make any sort of sense. The doctor examined him afore and said he'd be better with a bit of medicine. Yet ere since he came here, he's only gotten worse. I understand how you must feel. But you must see that your son's health continues to wane. There is no medicine that can heal him outright. He requires... I am caring for him as best I can. I beg only for your patience. However, if you truly cannot entrust him to me, perhaps you would care to take him home with you instead. Mayhap convalescing in a place familiar to him would aid his recovery. Of course, I would be sure to visit him as oft as I am able. Home, you say? Dear, we are pressed enough as tis. All right, he stays. But pray, bring my son back to health. I will look after him. I swear it. Sir, ought you not be in... Ah, 
Forgive me. You're not a patient, are you? I suppose you must be a visitor. Tis a pleasure to make your acquaintance. My name is Eleanor. I have the privilege of serving as abbess here. I regret that I cannot offer you a cup of tea, but I'm in the middle of making my rounds of the patients. Not to mention, I have to find the means to procure more medicinal ingredients. Oh. You wouldn't happen to know someone willing to brave the roads, would you? I know it is perilous, but there is one ingredient in particular we cannot afford to run out of. You would procure it yourself? I am grateful beyond words, sir. In that case, might I trouble you to bring me some miasmite? The slums are a bane to the body's humors, and its residents are oft prone to illness. We do what we can with what little we have, but we're always short on helping hands. Your aid is most appreciated, sir. May your search prove fruitful. Tell is, Maya's might can be harvested from phantoms. Monsters that wander the world at night. At last! It all becomes clear! Yes, sir. Ah, forgive me. If that's not the case, you will have to ex Mine is a light devoted. We have found a material. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. Guard. There are innumerable corners where an enemy might conceal themselves here. Keep your eyes peeled. I must confess, not rattles me quite so much as the unexpected snuffing of my lantern light. Ah, yes. That sounds familiar. With the aid of Sir Kendrick and his helper in locating certain documents, I believe I finally grasp the true nature of this place. It was a royal library that was sealed off by a sovereign of some generations past.
In a bid to pass the throne on to his own descendants, this sovereign attempted to consign our kingdom's histories to oblivion. Alas, it would seem that, no matter the age, the avarice of those in power is all but guaranteed. Yet, tis clear, it serves them not. Almost laughably so. The Sovereign's line ultimately fell to ruin, and now this library, so laboriously sealed, has been discovered. What can we learn from this? Those who make light of history are doomed to be crushed under its heel. Oh, fine timing, sir. Fine timing indeed. I've need of your services, you see. My time in that tenebrous jail has only hastened the deterioration of my eyesight. I stare at the page, but the letters stubbornly refuse to take shape. Yet these old eyes might serve some use if only I could wear the spectacles I had specially made. Alas! They were confiscated at the time of my imprisonment. As I recall, prisoners' possessions are held within the palace storeroom. It is a place to which few have lawful access, as I'm sure you can imagine. Though, as I hear it, masquerades are being held of late. Masquerades with a great many attendees, if you catch my meaning. Should you happen to enter the venue, mayhap you would find an opportunity to liberate my poor spectacles? What say you? Would you consider doing an old man a favor? I am in your debt. With those spectacles in hand, I might actually get through one of my tomes. Pray, infiltrate the venue and find the storeroom. You are my only hope. It seems you must attend a palace masquerade if you were to meet the one who would falsely claim your title. It would seem we have a need to visit the palace. Pawns are forbidden from entering the castle grounds, but we may accompany you to the entrance. You have our gratitude. Lead the way. A fine place to harvest some ingredients. Shall we see if there's ought to be found while we're here?
We shall remain here. I regret to inform you that there is no masquerade scheduled for today. My days were so tranquil. Want some in a real battle? The, oh, the oh, townspeople oh, depend on me. I should very much like to rejoin you, Master. This may require a delicate touch. If that is your destination, we cannot follow. But know that your return is eagerly awaited. I find dressing for these occasions. Everyone who dances with me complains of sore feet. I find it liberating to... Hmm. Your 
far from your station, are you not? I'm not sure what to do with myself today. Perfect for meditation. I find dressing for these occasions awfully tedious. I like to come here when I need a minute to Work done graciously. Work done poorly. Well now, you're... What is it? Has something happened? Uh, we have it on good authority that a suspicious individual passed through here. We need to scale the area. Well, scale all you like. In here. I've been here the whole time. Open up! Dressed rather austerely for a patron. My humblest apologies, Lady Wilhelmina. We've had reports of an unseemly character in the vicinity, you see, and... Preposterous. I was out front till but a moment ago, and I did not see so much as a shadow. Be that as it may. You are excused. Leave this place. Ere you invite our noble host's wrath upon yourself, I will summon you if aught is amiss. Pray forgive me. And what business have you here in the nobles' playground? Hmm? You've the face of someone in search of a juicy morsel. Would you be looking for this, perchance? Come on, then. Keep pouring. Do you take me for some green lad who can't handle his cups? I'm your damned king, and a king deserves royal treatment. <laughs> <laughs> of course, your majesty. Tell us, your majesty, would you prefer more drink, or shall we find some other way to amuse ourselves? <laughs> aye, aye. Let's change things up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I believe I cautioned you to keep your drunken revelry in check. Lest you forget, these celebrations of your valor are but a pretense for more serious matters. I, I know. I do. It's just I get the poison in me and things happen is all. <laughs> you need only serve as our false king until Sven becomes consul. Till then, however... You would do well to remember that your role demands a certain degree of dignity. I trust you understand your position, your majesty. Nay, I, I mean I. As you say, I'll, I'll go and sober up. Why not remove yours as well? This is not the Masquerade Hall, and we now find ourselves quite alone. What say we dispense with such pretenses and speak openly with one another? Lord Phasus. That will do. If you're discovered, yours won't be the only head that rolls. What is your purpose here, I wonder? If you came to learn of the Sovereign, then tis as you have seen. The man is naught but a ale-swilling pretender propped up by the Queen Regent. Of course, that begs the question. If he's a mere mummer, then where might our true arisen be? You'd best go. I'll do what I can to help you make your escape.
Come see me in my bordelry, when e'er you're so inclined. I'll instruct my attendants to send you straight to me. Market I go. If he asks me again, I'll claw out his eyes. What was it I had planned for the morrow? The sky always, always sets me free. to soothe the spirit. Come see me in my bordelry, whene'er you're so inclined. I'll instruct my attendants to send you straight to me. I'm here when I need a minute to think. Welcome, sir. As ever, we are delighted to have you. Pray, do enjoy your stay. At last. Tis a relief to be at your side again, Master. Do take care not to stray so far next time. That tyrannical Saludo thinks he can do whatever he likes. This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. We ought to put it to good use. There is much we ought to tend to. 
if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. All shall change once we have attended the coronation. If your majesty has any unfinished business to attend to, tis best you do so before we depart. Very well. Pray inform me when your preparations are complete. Is there aught else you would speak of, your majesty? Well, well. He is merely Deesa's puppet then. Tis likely that he knows naught of her schemes. Even were he to be removed, I suspect some other would simply be made to take his place. But if there's aught that compels my attention, tis this other man you mention. Phasus, was it? He seems a man of import, and yet, I have never heard of him. Pray, allow me to investigate this matter further. You've done well, Your Majesty. Thank you. Queen Regent Deesa appears to be working in concert with this Phasus fellow. There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen Your Majesty's claim as a true arisen. While examining the palace ledger for evidence of the Queen Regent's misdeeds, I made a curious discovery. For some time now, it seems, she has been diverting a veritable mountain of gold to the daily purchase of sweet crown flour. What's more, this inexpedient spending habit is recorded to have begun the very day on which Arthur, the would-be arisen, appeared on the scene. This cannot be mere happenstance. I can only conclude that these sums are passing into the hands of Arthur himself. Yet, tis strange, for sweet crown flowers only grow on the eastern edge of Romond. I dare say, t'was not an item chosen idly. Mayhap this knowledge will guide us in our pursuit of the false sovereign? Tis a frail hope to be certain. Yet all the same, I would ask that your majesty venture to Vermont's eastern edge and probe into this young man's origins. I am glad to hear it, for I cannot shake the feeling that uncovering the identity of the false sovereign is the key to unraveling Deesa's scheme and securing your enthronement. Good evening, sir. I trust you fared all right on the roads, despite the hour. Much obliged. This inspires more but mischievous.
I don't know what to do. I pose we scour this place anew. Who knows what we might find? Indeed. Let us know if we can be of assistance, Arisen. Ah, you've returned. Oh, my spectacles. Well done, sir. With these, I shall have no need to fear any letters, be they small or faintly scrawled. I shall learn aught I can, that the day might come when I can repay this debt I owe you. Many, many thanks. Take this as a token of my gratitude. That was certainly worthwhile. A job well done. Tis vital that we rest and regain our strength before moving on. I begin to doubt I will ever find the time to read. Tis of dire import we unmasked the false sovereign. To that end, we must travel to Vermin's distant edge. I can guide you to the place, Arisen, or thereabouts. We're in your hands, sir. Much obliged. Battle is best avoided here. This is generally used as a material. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. We are none of us alike in vocation. Our respective abilities are unique as well. I see it as a glad thing. We are both boys to supplement each other's strength. Magic can view your weapons with the period of yes.
My knowledge from other worlds tells me that a forgotten rift stone lies near here. Shall I lead the way? We are under attack! The Arisen have been dreaded! One might confidently call that a resounding victory. These fiends are only truly defeated when their souls are smashed beyond repair. Such a magnificent tapestry of stars. Right you are. Is a remarkable treasure we found. A fitting reward for a rigorous search. Hold me to continue this fight. We've little to gain from a victory against this lot. A night-bound forest is fearsome indeed. We shall have to be all the more wary, till sunup casts the shadows away. Then I shall remain by your side. As a matter of fact, curious thing, one of my former masters chose to hire only women. 
I wonder why. Fascinating. Now, what might that be? We ought to take a closer look. Just yonder looks to be a good spot for harvesting it. Ingredients. No harm in picking a few. Thank you, Arisen. I'm overjoyed to have completed the task my master set with me. Splendid. Very well. I shall return. There can be no harm in bringing this along. We cannot expect gleaming treasures round every corner. Yeah. 
I shall propel you into the air. I'll gather this. It might be of use. a surprise a splendid discovery interesting I shall have to inform my own master of this I would have preferred not to have to fight so soon but at least I know I am up to the challenge we must not go down again In another world, I learned that a forgotten rift stone lies nearby. Shall I escort you? dire import we unmask the false sovereign. To that end, we must travel to Vermin's eastern edge. Methinks I know the general destination. Shall I show you the way, Master? We're in your hands, sir. Much obliged. I enjoy tackling fierce foes and prefer combat thrills to gathering items. Great, follow me. 
In another world, I learned that a forgotten rift stone lies nearby. Shall I escort you there, Master? A fine place to harvest some ingredients. No harm in picking a few. Would you mind coming over here? Another statue? Mayhap will yield us sort of use. Climbing it would grant a clearer picture of our environs. As a matter of fact, one master I served was quite the carefree soul, shunning armor in all its forms. It isn't mine at all. Ice is our ally against the I don't like this man. You are in need of healing. Allow me. Wait for me. Here, if you please. This is generally used as a material. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. We are none of us alike in vocation. 
Our respective abilities are unique as well. I see it as a glad thing. We are well poised to supplement each other's strengths. It is rather narrow here. Be on your guard. Let us proceed with due caution. The village's stairs are sharp as daggers. What is their intent, I wonder? Tip. You there! Are you looking to enter the village? You'd best go elsewhere, friend. What's wrong about this place? There's no business to be had here, that's for sure. That man just now seems rather on edge. You'd best go elsewhere, friend. There's no business to be had here, that's for sure. I'll collect that. You needn't trouble yourself. Well met, sir. Have you a different destination in mind, Master? Very well. I shall follow your lead instead. It is not for us to gainsay the Arisen's judgment. We must go where we are bid. Well, I suppose that's neither here nor there. It is a question of skill. So you say. I do it again. Just look at that fool's face. a letter most inscrutable, and I fear it will remain as such if we cannot find another piece to this puzzle. be the visitor I've heard so much about. Have you some business here in the village? You would know of our village? As you can see, tis a simple place, tucked away on the eastern edge of Vermond. 
Is there all else I can help you with, sir? Arthur. <laughs> Tis a name unfamiliar to me, I'm afraid. At least, no one by that name lives here, sir. <laughs> As you like, sir. Nursing you about? You the outsider? The Lord's come on, follow me. I've something. You're gathering grimoires, eh? My lord told me. I happen to be in possession of the Veiled Tome, Owl and Blizzard. I'd even be willing to part with it. If you'd be willing to trade me Fulminous Shield, the magic Aegis for it, that is. What say you? Oh dear. Still haven't found it. Then I'm afraid I'll have to hold on to Owling Blizzard for the time being. Greetings. I must say, I'm impressed by your intuition, sir. You found me out far sooner than most. I trust you are enjoying your sojourn in our fair village. If you have any questions, ask away. I should be glad to aid you. If aught about our humble village seems strange to you, that is easily explained. For tis here that thieves are instructed in the skills they require. To begin with, those who wander into the village are evaluated for their potential aptitude. Of course, you are no exception. That you stand here now is proof you were deemed a worthy candidate. Which is to say, you have my approval as the thiefmaster. Is there aught else you care to ask? You're curious what I know of you? Quite a bit, I should think. Naturally, I'm not the only one. Our village has its own network of spies and informants, you see, and your title tends to make you stand out among the rumors we collect. You're the second arisen to come to Vermont, and you've allied yourself with Captain Brandt against the Queen Regent. In response, she's... Oops. I mustn't say another word. Don't misunderstand. I'm no ally of the Queen Regent. I merely strive to maintain neutrality in political matters. Those who deal in information must ne'er align themselves with a particular power. Such is our village code. Is there aught else you care to ask? Arthur, you say? Hmm... I've lived in this village many a year, but I can't say I've heard of someone by that name. My apologies. Is there aught else you care to ask? Beg pardon? Why would you ask such a thing? A letter. Oh, you've made quite the discovery. Brass means imitating someone in Thieves' Cant. This letter means to say someone's taken on such a request. 
Naturally, I can say nothing as to the who or what of the arrangement. I'm sure you understand. Is there aught else you care to ask? Aye. Take care, then. You, sir, are worthy of inheriting my ultimate technique. Once mastered, it will allow you to fell all foes, both minuscule and mighty. Take it, and do with it what you will. Well done, Arisen. You have acquired a maester's teaching, an important milestone in mastering any vocation. I shall strive to learn from your example, that I might reach new heights of my own. I'll gather this. It might be of use. We shall remain here.
You made it after all. Guess that means I win. Oi, you lot best pay up. Dear me. You're here. I've been waiting for you. You didn't disappoint, did you? You've done well. Seems only fair I answer any questions weighing on you. Go on. Ask away. Figures you'd want to know about him. We're supposed to be neutral. Ordinarily, I wouldn't say a word about one of our jobs. But I suppose I can tell you, the situation being what is, his real name is Dora. He was one of us, once. But he's been exiled. We had no choice, see? After he went off to play the false arisen, we're men and women of shadow. Center stage isn't our place to stand. That's why he was cast out. He'll near be part of our village again. That all you wanted to ask? Before all this, Dara was in line to become the next thief maester. But he failed. Took a massive injury to the chest during the trial. So the title fell to me. That's when he went off, saying he used the scar in his chest to pose as the Arisen. And what a scheme that turned out to be, eh? Now he gets to sit pretty on the best seat in the kingdom. Still, you'd have a hard time proving that he's not who he says he is. He's a wily one, that Dara. Always was careful not to leave behind a shred of evidence. But we can't have him thinking that he gets to go off and enjoy a peaceful life in the lap of luxury after breaking our code. Methinks he needs something to remind him of the debt he owes us. Here, this should do the trick. Now, as to the Maester's teaching, not sure you'll be able to use it to its fullest potential, but I'll show it to you. That all you wanted to ask? What can I say? Not many people bother with this place. Luckily for me, you were different. Knew I was right to bet in favor of the Arisen. Anyway. Most visitors get fooled into going up to the manor. We send them packing with a trifle, and if they don't question it, good riddance. Anyone that complacent has got no business being a thief. We only train the rare few who make it here. Some might go so far as to say that the entire village was built around this spot. That all you wanted to ask? Aye. Till next time, then. Greetings, Master. Is this where you've been all this while? 
Do take care not to stray so far next time. This is the end, of course. Nothing's free in this world. Do stop by again. Happiness. This is it, of course. Nothing's free in this world. We must rest. The All I've learned, I shall turn to your service, Arisen. Up we get. We can expect a busy night. Shall we check our packs and be off? Feeling rested, I trust? Would that such tranquility could last? I quite agree.
Just yonder looks to be a good spot for harvesting ingredients. Shall we see if there's all to be found while we're here? Fresh and as we are, this battle ought to be in our favor. We must not let down that battle. The Arisen has been burned! Let my magic go on to an elemental. Just recalled. I found a treasure chest near here during my travels beyond the rift. May I show you to its location? This is generally used as a material. Me thinks we could move this boulder if we work together. Shall we set it rolling? A night-bound forest is fierce and indeed. We shall have to be all the more aware of it. Till someone Well and true. We mustn't allow ourselves to become complacent. Take each trial as it comes.
cannot break it from this side. True enough. We're here, Master. There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your Majesty's claim as a true arisen. Have you divined aught of the false sovereign, your Majesty? This appears to be a bill calling for the arrest of a man named Dara. But hold a moment. Does this man's countenance not bear an uncanny resemblance to that of the false sovereign? Hmm. I see. If your majesty is certain that the two are one and the same, then I am convinced as well. However, I'm afraid this paper alone does not constitute sufficient proof. Ah, but of course. I surmise your majesty intends to post the bill and invite suspicion. A clever plan. The Queen Regent will be forced to deny any connection to our new sovereign, yet will be unable to remove the bill from the public eye. Furthermore, it will serve as an attestation to Dara's existence, which shall remain an undeniable truth till the man resurfaces. And all the while, the doubts lurking in the hearts of the citizenry will continue to deepen. A clever ploy indeed. I shall attend to this matter personally. I have no doubt that this bill will prove its worth in due course. You have my gratitude, Your Majesty. Your aid has been invaluable. So, the false sovereign operates at the behest of Queen Regent D. The spider has woven her web rather carefully. Welcome. Good evening, sir. I trust you fared all right on the roads. <sighs> Shall we get some rest then? Mayhap, this ladder is here for a reason. We ought to put it to good use.
Well met. You, you will soon forget the fatigue of a long journey when treated to the... Foremost hospitality in all Vernworth. Much obliged. Not sure why I've trolled it. Look, my bed falls oh, and I can't resist. Oh, this really is retained. Come take a look. You'll be glad you did. Do come again. Go on, have a look. I have to turn in for a night. as they say. What should I do? Yes, sir. Have you procured what I asked? Splendid. You've my gratitude. Unfortunately, I can give you little more than that. Forgive me, but I must return to my rounds directly. Ah, but in place of a reward, mayhap I could give you a tour of the premises. Only if you've the time and inclination, of course. What say you? Would you care to accompany me? As servants of the Gracious Hand, we provide whatever treatment we can to those unfortunate who are stricken by maladies. Yet, at times, it is not enough. Perhaps you will recall the parents who were here when you first arrived. An unfortunate pair. They've suffered no few hardships in the slums, and now, even their poor son, Lubomir, has fallen ill. By chance, he was examined by a roaming man claiming to be a doctor. Yet, the family had not the money for the medicine he required. So, he was put into our care. Ah, I'll take that. We might find a use for it. It seems Lady Elena means to give us a tour of the... Here he is. This young man is Lubomir. We've been administering the medicine recommended by the doctor who examined him. But he has yet to show any sign of recovery. To be perfectly honest, I doubt the soundness of that so-called doctor's judgment. After all, there is no shortage of ne'er-do-wells out there willing to claim their medicine the only cure, that they might inflate its price. But I suppose I ought not say such things so openly. A at any rate, I'd best continue on my rounds. Pray, stay as long as you wish. Come, come. We've medicine to prepare. We've enough to make a fresh batch now, thanks to a kind donation. Psst! You there! Help me! 
Listen, the sisters here are good to us, but I'm growing weaker day by day. It started with a slight fever, and now I can scarce lift myself up. See that empty bed? An old man was lying in it till just a few days past. He told me he was feeling better, that he'd be well enough to leave anon. And now he's... Mayhap I'm just imagining things. I hope that's the case. And yet... Gah... Something isn't right about this place. Pray, should you hear any queer rumors about the Gracious Hand, come tell me of them, won't you? I'd see to it myself, but I can hardly move. Yon path leads not to our destination. If you would prefer to explore, I shall guide you another time. The Arisen decides our path. We have but to follow. Might you be a friend of Lubomir's? He's seen better days, hasn't he? There has been talk of sending him down to the basement, should his condition fail to improve. That is, the basement sick room, where our most critical patients convalesce under the Abbess's care. None of the other sisters are permitted entry, including myself. Tell is, she gives the patients a special medicine. I, I know not what kind. At times, I hear strange cries and moans drift up from below. W which is to, to be expected. Those who come here suffer all manner of afflictions, you see. And yet, a part of me is afeard for them. So, the worst of us are taken to the basement. Mayhap that's the source of the queer voices I hear a night. And none say the Abbess can enter? If the Gracious Hand has a secret, tis the Abbess who keeps it, I reckon. You've done this much for me. Would you be willing to go further? I must find out what goes on down there. Oh, you've my thanks. I just can't stomach the thought of lying here not knowing. Of course, all the better should your search come to naught. But if you do find aught amiss down in that basement, it must be the Abbess's doing. Should you find evidence fit to implicate her, will you help me see to it that justice is carried out? See, I've already reported my suspicions to the Sentinels, and we've arranged a signal. If you apprehend the Abbess, they'll know to come and arrest her. So I beg you, sir, find the evidence you need, if it exists to be found. To get to the bottom of what is happening at the Gracious Hand, we shall have to acquire evidence of any misdeeds. Right you are. It would be prudent to investigate the most suspicious place first, methinks. Shall we make for the basement sick room? Pray, allow me to show you the way. A guide is most welcome. Now we shan't lose our way. We're here, and none the worse for wear. The patients in this room must not be disturbed. Leave this place at once. How might we enter the basement sick room? Splendid. Medicine? Medicine! 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 Now! 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 Oh, someone help me. Johan? Bruno, where have you gone? Mayhap would serve as well to track down the former patients mentioned in these records of treatment. You have my support. Shall we present the evidence we have gathered to Sir Lubomir? 
If you wish to meet with this person, I would gladly lead the way. A guide is most welcome. Now we shan't lose our way. Lady Eleanor's a goodly person, a saint-like. Her earnest care saw me back to full health. I wavered between life and death for quite some time in that basement sick room, and she watched over me through it all, bless her. Can't say as I miss that basement, mind. Tis an eerie place, dark and shadowy, filled with the moaning of the sick. I suppose it is only to be expected, given the state of those assembled. I'm sure I was moaning too. Elena, ah yes, the abbess of the gracious hand. A fine woman by all accounts. I was in her care once myself. But I must admit, I've always felt there's something off about her. You see, I was only a little under the weather when I entered her care. But then I started getting sicker and sicker till I was certain death would come for me. In the end, I survived, but methinks I was one of the lucky few. So many died down there. And once, I saw her, the abbess, meeting with a strange man. She handed him a large parcel, all wrapped up, and he gave her something small in return. You'd think to a medicine, but I'd not have bought medicine from a man like that. He had the look of a scoundrel about him. They were whispering, but I did hear one of them say aught about keeping quiet. Tis well suspicious, eh? Where'd they meet? Twas in the square in the eastern part of the common quarter, and always a night, as I recall. I'll gather this. It might be of use. This isn't the way to our destination, but I presume you've a new one in mind. Lead on. Tis not for us to gain Savior Risen's judgment. We must go where we are bid. chest. I shall take a look inside. Why would Lady Elena meet with such a suspicious personage? Mayhap we ought to ascertain the truth with our own eyes. Follow me, Master. I shall guide you to the location. A guide is most welcome. Now we shan't lose our way. This is plenty. Lord Phasus is like to be in your debt. <laughs> Nicely done. Suppose it can't have been easy to procure this much so quickly. You suppose wrong. I command their full faith. Tis simple for me to extract what I require. Ha! You're a fearsome one. Here's hoping I ne'er end up in your care. Enough. I gave you yours, now you give me mine. I'd not be seen here with you. 
Ah, of course. Wouldn't want to hurt the Lady Saint's image in the eyes of the common folk, would we? Here's your special medicine. Glad we understand each other. Till next time. I be seeing you. This is not the first we've heard of Lord Phasus. What could his aim be, I wonder? I'm not sure what we're dealing with here. I spend my days in quiet reflection. Well, this simplifies matters. We've already got what's required here in our possession. My head hurts just thinking about it. Not my kind of place, this is so dull when there's nothing to Over here, we have arrived. You're back. Pray, tell me, have you found anything? What? You found a medicine used only in the basement sick room? I... I don't like the sound of that. Do you think... Could I trouble you to look into this as well? Mayhap you could show it to the doctor I saw before coming here. Radcliffe, his name was. He's staying in the rest town. Pray, sir, do what you can. I must know. Methinks we would do well to bring this medicine to Sir Radcliffe, the doctor over in the rest town. Right you are. Shall we bring the medicine we discovered to the doctor over in the rest town? Mayhap he can tell us of its effects. Methinks I know where to find the person you're looking for. A guide is most welcome. Now we shan't lose our way. Our destination is rather distant. Perhaps we ought to consider employing the services of an Oxcart. A most agreeable suggestion. Of course, the Arisen shall have the final say in the matter. I would have preferred not to have the parts of the ring, but at least I know I'm back to the child. We must not let down our guard. Let my magic imbue your weapon with the fury of the element. was well fought. There's no one standing who might say otherwise. Overconfidence is an enemy in and of itself. Let us instead strive to better ourselves with every battle. Splendid. 
on your strength arisen. Lightning's fangs. Get on. I shall propel you into the air. Oxcart has been destroyed, wrought by the hands of brigands, or the claws of monsters. Careful now! A fine place to harvest some ingredients. No harm in digging a few. Shall we bring the medicine we discovered to the doctor over in the rest town? Mayhap he can tell us of its effects. If you would be so kind as to follow me, I shall take you to the one you seek. The guide is most welcome. Now we shall be done. Treasure chest. Shall we see if we can't make our way over to it? Over here, if you please. We have found the material. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. I know precisely when a curative is needed, Master. You'll never fall in battle so long as I'm around.
enemy side. I'd wager our merry band can handle whatever comes. Capable comrades are a boon indeed. I quite agree. You have my protection. I see you've been threatened. Fly off as soon as possible. We have all we need to hunt. Pray, follow me.
is not long till daybreak, master. The sun will always rise again. It is a comforting thought. Whatever it is you need, I shall gladly oblige. You have no need of my assistance at present, but I shall be ready to render aid at a moment's notice. Just yonder looks to be a good spot for harvesting rain. Shall we see if there's autumn? We've got goblins! Use me as your foothold to sort of the <laughs> Execution. Let us try for the same result with our next attack. Over here, if you would. Now then, which way? Fretting will get us nowhere. Let us pick a path and see where it takes us. Let my magics grant you an elemental boon. Have you a different destination in mind? Shall we bring the medicine we discovered to the doctor over in the rest town? Mayhap he can tell us of its effects. I believe I can guide you to the person in question. We're in your hands, sir. Much obliged. You'll find none lighter on their feet than a thief. I'm sure. Over here, if you please. Here, 
strike with lightning on your side. was incredible. Never have I encountered such a strategy. Truly? <sighs> Hold fast, Arisen! I will be with you in but a moment! Dare I say it? We trounced our foe, well and true. We mustn't allow ourselves to become complacent. Take each trial as it comes. Well worth the effort of breaking it. Unless I am mistaken, all we require is already in our possession.
lead the way. Now, what might that be? We ought to take a closer look. I shall do as you say. you into the air. Battle is best avoided here. Many thanks. This is for you. Take it with my thanks. I have an inkling this place will yield in ferret. Well spotted. Shall we see what we can find?
Follow me. Come to think of it, was there not another task we were to see to somewhere nearby? Efficiency is not the only factor worthy of consideration. Say, you wouldn't happen to have seen a pretty stone lying about, would you? One befitting the name the Jadeite Orb. It was stolen from me while I was delivering it, and if Master Everard should find out, he'd wring my neck. There's no exaggeration. He's had people killed before, more than a few at that. To be quite truthful, I'd intended to sell off the Jadeite Orb and quit this place for good. Working under a man such as him, I'd only get chewed up till he decided to spit me out. That jewel was my last hope. Now, it's, unless... Unless you were to find it for me, would you, sir? I'll pray do a poor man a kindness. Have you come from Vernworth? How are things there? The ancient battleground to the north is overrun with hordes of fell beasts, and so little are survivors anticipated that you'll find not even a checkpoint here. In times past, twas safe enough a night when the monsters sleep, but no longer. Since a few days past, skeletons and phantoms have made this their nightly battleground. Tis nigh impassable now. It could be that aught's befallen the Cenotaph, I'd heard the spirits had calmed somewhat since twas erected. Say, if I cannot dissuade you from traversing the ancient battleground, would you consider passing by the cenotaph and making sure aught's are right with it? Oi, you there! You've just arrived in town, haven't you? I don't mean to pry, only it's my grandson, a boy by the name of Rog. He's gone missing. Pray tell, have you seen the lad? Morris, I've just found out Rog has been abducted by beasts. W -w what? No! How can that be? I've just heard news. Rog was seen being dragged off by wolves. Oh, my poor boy. We must go rescue him at once. Morris, think what you're saying, friend. We can't go charging off after the lad. We are no match for such creatures. Do you truly expect me to do naught but twiddle my thumbs when my only grandson's been taken from me? The soldiers won't do aught for him, will they now? Consarn it all. He's right. But what else am I to do? If I do not hasten to the poor lad's aid, who will? Did it do you truly mean that, sir? You will save my grandson. If you return him to me, I will be forever in your debt, stranger. We may benefit from pursuing the information. Poor Rog. He truly is a lovely boy. He's always helping Morris in his shop. And he's delivered me my remedies many a time. Once, he even picked some flowers on his way out and put them up for me. All pretty like. I still recall his smile when he told me about the beautiful flower bed he tends to on the outskirts of town. Oh, Rog. Will I e'er see your smile again? I suppose I can only hope. This is 
generally used as a material. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. Today, my pockets will be clean with gold. <laughs> <sighs> like to grow overburdened if you keep picking up every little trinket you find. <laughs> Well fought. There's no one standing who might say otherwise. Overconfidence is an enemy in and of itself. Let us instead strive to better ourselves with every battle. Seems a decent spot for a campsite. Let us keep this place in mind for when night falls. I enjoy tackling fierce foes and prefer combat. Pray, allow me to open your chest.
I'd wager there's all to be found here. We ought to take a closer look. your command. Where is it? <sighs> Methinks this can only be destroyed from the other side. I'm not altogether happy with this. Use me as your foothold to soar to greater heights. <laughs> 